One of the most uncommon blood types and the one that is least likely to change or combine with other blood types blood types explore the enigma of type O blood, an eons old whisper in the veins of Native Americans in America. This mysterious marking, which is more than just a type, reveals a narrative of survival, adaptation, and D's deep roots in the land. What mysteries does it contain? This crimson liquid coursing through our veins holds fascinating secrets, and among them, the mystery of type O blood stands out. It's a tale of biology, evolution, and survival. A story that begins deep within the cells of our ancestors and continues to flow within us today. In the grand tapestry of blood types, there are four main characters, A, B, A, B, and O. Each one of these is a unique marker, a biological signature, determined by the presence or absence of certain antigens on the surface of red blood cells. But there's something particularly intriguing about type O. Unlike its counterparts, type O blood lacks both A and B antigens. This absence, rather than being a deficiency, is what gives type O its unique characteristics. It's a universal donor, able to give life in times of medical need to any of the other blood types. Yet when it comes to receiving, type O is highly selective, only accepting its own kind. It's an intriguing paradox, isn't it? The most giving, yet the most particular, the most common, yet the most unique. This prevalence of type O blood isn't a mere coincidence. It's an echo of our past, an imprint of our evolutionary journey. Scientists theorize that type O blood might have been the first blood type of our ancestors, a sort of Adam and Eve of blood groups, if you will. As our ancestors adapted to their environment, their bodies changed, and so did their blood. However, part of the explanation for why type O blood predominates in Native American cultures in the Americas is found in type O blood has evolutionary advantages that it could not have had without the A or B antigens. It lowers the probability that some diseases will spread, which could be advantageous for survival. Furthermore, some studies indicate that type O blood may be more resistant to serious diseases like malaria, even if the malaria theory is more applicable to the distribution of blood types in Africa than the Americas. An intriguing area of research in human migration and adaptation is the distribution of blood types among various groups. Typing is the most common blood type worldwide, but its frequency varies greatly from place to place in the Americas, especially among indigenous tribes where type O blood is unusually common. It has survived ice ages, pandemics and wars, flowing through the veins of countless generations, marking them with a silent signature of resilience. What makes type O so tenacious? What advantages did it offer that ensured its survival? Amazingly, elevated levels indicate a robust selection for this characteristic spanning millennia, and the rationale behind this selection are not fully understood, but they probably entail a number of circumstances, such as the rise of diseases and environmental difficulties, to which type O blood offered some resistance. For instance, the high altitude idea suggests that ancient peoples who lived in hilly areas may have benefited greatly from type O blood's alleged superior oxygen delivery at high altitudes. Before we continue, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel Health Nation Thank You, a puzzle that we are only beginning to piece together one drop at a time. Join us as we delve deeper into this fascinating topic in the upcoming scenes. Blood, the life force, is much more than a mere biological fluid. It is the river that courses through our veins, carrying with it the very essence of life. It's a crimson tide, perpetually ebbing and flowing, sustaining every cell in our bodies. Imagine, if you will, a bustling city. Streets are filled with vehicles, ceaselessly transporting people and goods to their destinations. Now translate this image to a microscopic level. That's essentially what's happening in our circulatory system. The blood vessels are the highways and the blood cells are the vehicles. Red blood cells or erythrocytes transport oxygen from our lungs to every nook and cranny of our bodies. They're like little delivery trucks carrying precious cargo. But it's not just about delivery. Blood also plays the role of a diligent waste management system. As cells perform their functions, they produce waste. This can include carbon dioxide, a byproduct of cellular respiration, and other metabolic waste. Our blood dutifully collects these waste products and transports them to the appropriate disposal sites. The lungs, for instance, expel carbon dioxide from our bodies every time we exhale. Moreover, blood is a crucial component of our immune system. White blood cells or leukocytes are our body's valiant soldiers, always on the lookout for foreign invaders. When a pathogen enters our system, these cells spring into action, protecting us from illness. In essence, blood is a lifeline, a complex network that keeps us alive and functioning. 
It's a microscopic universe teeming with activity, a testament to the intricate beauty of life. It's often said that life is in the blood, and when you delve into its functions, it's not hard to see why. Indeed, blood is the river of life that flows within us. It's our personal delivery service, waste management system, and military defense rolled into one. It's a vital part of our existence, a life force that we cannot live without. And as we'll see in the next scene, it's also a fascinating subject of scientific inquiry, particularly when it comes to the mystery of type O blood. Did you know that type O blood is considered an ancient marker in our veins? This may seem like a trivial fact, but it carries profound implications about our evolutionary history. In the grand tapestry of evolution, every trait that survives thrives because it confers some form of advantage. Type O blood is no exception. It's the most common blood type worldwide, and there's a reason for this prevalence. But to understand this, we need to take a step back into the distant past, to a time when our ancestors were just beginning to shape the world. Consider the early humans, living in a world fraught with danger, hunting mammoths, fending off predators, surviving the harsh climates. Life was a constant battle for survival. In this scenario, having type O blood may have provided a significant advantage. Why, you ask? The answer lies in immune response. Type O blood is known to have a stronger immune response to infections compared to other blood types. This could have been a lifesaver in times when antibiotics were millennia away. A stronger immune response means a better chance at battling infections, a better chance at survival, and consequently, a better chance at passing on these traits to the next generation. It's fascinating to think that something as simple as a blood type, something we often take for granted, could have played such a pivotal role in our survival and evolution. It's a testament to the intricate dance of survival that has shaped us as a species. So next time you find yourself pricked for a blood test, remember, those crimson drops carry not just the life force that fuels you, but also the echoes of our shared past. The story of our survival, the tale of our triumph over adversity, is written in the blood that courses through our veins. Thus, type O blood could be a vestige of our ancestors' survival tactics. Ever wondered why type O blood is so widespread? Well, it's not a stroke of chance, but rather a story of survival and adaptation. The blood type we carry in our veins is a testament to the journey of our ancestors, and for those with type O, it's an intriguing tale of evolutionary advantage. In the grand scheme of evolution, type O blood is the oldest. It's believed that our earliest ancestors had this blood type, and as human populations grew and migrated, type O blood was carried with them. It's a bit like a genetic relic, a legacy passed down through countless generations. But why is type O blood so prevalent, particularly in certain regions of the world? The answer, in part, lies with natural selection. You see, type O blood carries certain advantages that may have helped our ancestors survive in challenging environments. For instance, individuals with type O blood are less susceptible to certain diseases like malaria. This deadly disease is transmitted by mosquitoes and has been a significant threat throughout human history. However, the parasite that causes malaria has a harder time invading the red blood cells of those with type O blood. This resistance would have been a major advantage in regions where malaria was widespread, aiding survival and ensuring the passing on of this blood type to future generations. Interestingly, type O blood also has a unique role in our body's response to stress. It's been suggested that those with type O blood have a fight-or-flight response that's more robust than other blood types. This heightened reaction could have been beneficial in the face of danger, helping our ancestors react quickly and effectively to threats. So, while we may not think about our blood type in our day-to-day -day lives, it's a fascinating reflection of our past, a silent marker of our species' journey through time. It's a story of survival, adaptation, and resilience. Nature, it seems, has a preference for type O blood. Could type O blood play a role in high-altitude adaptation? This intriguing question beckons us to delve into the fascinating realm of human evolution and adaptation. Type O blood is the most prevalent blood type globally, with an estimated 56% of the world's population being carriers. But why is it so widespread? Some believe that the answer lies in the thin, crisp air of high-altitude regions. In high-altitude areas, oxygen levels are lower. This means the body has to work harder to get the oxygen it needs, which can lead to altitude sickness. Yet, some populations have thrived in these challenging environments for centuries, such as the Sherpas in the Himalayas or the Andean people in South America. Curiously, a high percentage of these populations have type O blood. Researchers hypothesize that type O blood might have an advantage in oxygen-carrying capacity. 
This is because type O blood cells are slightly smaller and more flexible than other blood types, meaning they can travel through tiny capillaries more efficiently, delivering oxygen to the body's tissues even under oxygen-deprived conditions. Moreover, type O blood has lower levels of a blood clotting agent called von Willebrand factor, which might reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes at high altitudes, where the risk is typically higher due to the strain on the heart and circulatory system. However, the connection between type O blood and high altitude adaptation is not yet fully understood. More research is needed to unravel this intriguing mystery, but the current evidence suggests that our blood type, a trait that has been passed down through countless generations, might have played a crucial role in shaping human evolution and survival. So, type O blood may be the secret weapon of those living in high altitude areas. This is yet another testament to the remarkable ways in which our bodies have adapted to survive and thrive in a wide range of environmental conditions. Do you know the importance of type O blood in medicine? In the complex tapestry of blood types, type O stands out as a remarkable player. Particularly, type O negative blood holds a unique and crucial role in medicine due to its status as a universal donor. This means that it can be given to people of any blood type, AB, AB or O and either RH positive or RH negative. Imagine a car accident with multiple victims rushed to the emergency room. Doctors don't have the luxury of time to determine each patient's blood type before administering a life-saving transfusion. In these critical moments, type O negative blood becomes a beacon of hope. It's like a key that can unlock any door, a one-size-fits-all solution when every second counts. But the significance of type O blood is not limited to emergencies. It's also vital in planned medical procedures. Many complex surgeries, for instance, require blood transfusions to replace the blood lost during the operation. Here again, type O negative blood proves invaluable, ready to step in when the patient's exact blood type isn't immediately available. Moreover, type O blood is a critical resource for newborns who need blood. This is especially true for those with a rare condition called hemolytic disease, where the mother's antibodies attack the baby's red blood cells. In such cases, type O negative blood can be a lifesaver. However, this universal donor status comes with a downside. The demand for type O blood is always high, but supply often falls short. This is why blood donation centers often appeal for type O blood donors. So while we marvel at the wonders of type O blood, it's important to remember that each drop counts. If you're a type O individual, your blood could be the lifeline someone else needs. Type O blood then is a lifesaver in the truest sense. Yet despite all we know, the mystery of type O blood persists. It's a captivating conundrum that continues to keep scientists on their toes as they strive to unravel the full story behind this most common blood type. The world of medical science is constantly evolving and with it our understanding of type O blood. Every day laboratories around the globe are buzzing with activity as researchers delve deeper into this fascinating subject. They're peering through microscopes, analyzing data, and conducting studies, all with the aim of unlocking the secrets that type O blood holds. What's particularly intriguing is how this ancient marker in our veins continues to have such a profound impact on our health and survival. From its potential role in high-altitude adaptation to its prevalence in certain populations, type O blood is an essential piece of the human puzzle, one we're still trying to fit into place. But this doesn't mean we're at a standstill. Quite the contrary, the wheels of science are always turning. With every new discovery we inch closer to understanding the intricate dynamics of type O blood. We're learning about its unique properties, how it interacts with diseases, and even its influence on our immune response. This knowledge holds the power to transform healthcare, offering new avenues for treatment and prevention. Despite these advancements, however, there is still much we don't know. Why is type O blood so common? What exactly gives it an evolutionary advantage? How does it affect our bodies in ways we've yet to uncover? These are just a few of the questions that remain unanswered, fueling the ongoing investigation into this blood type. The pursuit of knowledge is a journey, not a destination. And when it comes to type O blood, we are very much still on that journey. Each new finding is a stepping stone, leading us further down the path of understanding. But as with any good mystery, the more we learn, the more questions arise. The mystery of type O blood, it seems, is far from solved. So, what have we learned about the mystery of type O blood? Throughout our journey, we've delved into the history and significance of blood, a substance so vital that it's often referred to as the life force. 
It's the river that flows within us, supplying our cells with oxygen and nutrients while also carrying away waste products. It's a complex system, a marvel of biology that we're still learning more about every day. We've traced the lineage of type O blood as an ancient marker coursing through our veins. It's like a living time capsule, a testament to our ancestors and the evolutionary challenges they overcame. This marker is not just a symbol of our past, but also a key to understanding our present and possibly even our future. We've explored the prevalence of type O blood and its potential advantages. This blood type, considered the universal donor, is unique in its ability to blend into the backgrounds of other blood types, making it a crucial resource in medicine. The evolutionary advantage of type O blood is still a subject of study, but it's clear that its presence has played an important role in our survival and proliferation. Then, we ascended to great heights, examining the potential role of type O blood in high-altitude adaptation. The thin air of high elevations presents a unique challenge to human biology, and type O blood with its specific traits may offer some advantages in these extreme conditions. It's an intriguing connection that warrants further exploration. In this journey through the mystery of type O blood, we've seen how something as common as blood can hold such profound significance. It's a testament to the intricate design of our bodies and the delicate balance that maintains our health and vitality. In the end, the mystery of type O blood serves as a reminder of the wonders and complexities of our own biology. It's a fascinating puzzle piece in the grand tapestry of human evolution and adaptation. As we continue to study and understand it, we're not just learning about type O blood, but about ourselves as a species.